Welcome to an informative video from your friends at the Dashcam store. Today we're going to demonstrate important functions and features of the AVIC Viewer application for AVIC Elite Dashcams. Now that the application is open, on the left hand side of the application, a screen with the text front can be found. This is where your Dashcam's front facing Dashcam video footage will be displayed. On the right hand side, you'll notice a smaller panel of the text rear. This is where your inside facing dashcam's video footage will be displayed if you're using a dual lens model. Before we dive into the features and functions of the AVIC Viewer application, let's import our dashcam footage. Mouse over and select media. Now you mouse down and click on the folder option, then on the right hand side of the application, you click on these three dots. Then go ahead and navigate to where your footage is saved. For example, your footage could be stored on your desktop in a folder named AVIC Videos, or you might be trying to access your footage directly from the SD card like I'll be displaying today. Now that you've located your folder, you click on OK to proceed. Then once again, you click on OK to confirm that this is the directory you want your videos imported from. Now that my videos are imported, you can see a list of the files that can be organized by either file name, date and time, size, or video type. To filter your video list to only show event videos, for example, Click the circle next to event or click all to show all of the videos in your selected folder again. Double click any file to play back the footage. After double clicking a file, your video will automatically start playing and you can navigate over to the left side of the screen to pause your video if you need to do that. If not, your videos from the file list will continue to play one after the other. Now let's go over a few basic functions of the AVIC viewer. Some of these icons will look familiar if you've ever used a video editing software before. These functions will affect both your front and rear footage. This is the previous file button. This will go back and play the previous video file. This is the play and pause button. This will play and pause your video. This is the stop button. This will stop your video and reset it to the start of the video. This is the next file button. This will play the next video file. This is the speed adjustment button. Clicking on the minus sign will allow for the reduction of speed of both your front and rear footage to the maximum of negative one tenth. Maybe you spotted something interesting on your dash cam and just wanted a slower look at it. The speed reduction tool will be ideal for that scenario. Clicking on the plus sign will increase your speed up to the maximum of double the speed. This would be handy if you were trying to fast forward through your video to a certain point that an incident occurred. In this area you can view your vehicle's latitude and longitude which is actually the GPS based position of your vehicle at any given time. Now on the camera settings. Clicking on the cogwheel icon will bring up your camera settings. In the recording and sensitivity tab, you're able to adjust video resolution, video quality, video clip time, G sensor sensitivity, as well as the ability to turn on or off your audio recording. And you can adjust the volume or gain of your dash cam's microphone. In the speed unit and time tab, you can adjust your speed unit between kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and knots. Note that changing speed units here only affects the viewer software, and speed will always be displayed in your videos of both kilometers per hour and miles per hour, regardless of what is specified here. Since all AVIC Elite dash cams include GPS built in, with speed limit, you'll be able to set an audible warning to sound if the vehicle exceeds a specified speed limit, which is good for keeping your drivers in check. Then below you can adjust the time and time zone. You don't need a manual to set the time. This will sync with your GPS automatically. But you should set the correct time zone for your location. Then in the SD card management tab, you're able to adjust memory allocation between drive recording, normal recording, and event recording. We find the default values here are typically fine for most fleet customers, but you can adjust these if necessary. You can also view information about the memory card as well as the firmware version of the dash cam. When you're done with your adjustments, mouse up to the right hand corner and click apply all if you're happy with your changes. If you made a mistake, don't worry because we can start over by clicking on factory reset right beside apply all. This will return all of your settings to the default values. Note if you have a Wi-Fi capable version AVIC Elite dash cam, you can use the free Android or iOS smartphone apps provided by AVIC to make changes to the Wi-Fi settings. Now let's cover some more playback functions. Using the color wheel, which is to the right of the settings icon, you can adjust your video's brightness, saturation, and hue. Be sure that your video is playing because these adjustments aren't actively taking effect unless your video is currently playing. This function can come in handy if you need to do some basic color correction or increase the brightness of a dark video. This is the sound on and sound off button. 
This button will mute the audio during playback. You'll know your playback audio is muted if a red icon appears. This does not affect the actual audio that is stored in the video. It only silences your speakers during playback. To the right of the sound on and sound off button, this is the volume button. You'll be able to adjust your playback volume. Simply drag left or right to tune the audio's volume to your liking. Now on to additional features. In the top left hand corner of the application, you can view the speed of the vehicle that the dash cam footage was taken from. This is very handy for driver accountability or if you need to dispute an unwarranted speeding ticket. Before we go over the remaining features, take note again that most of these are only adjustable when your video is playing. Also be aware that for this set of adjustments, your front footage and rear footage have their own individual adjustable settings. So you'll have to change the settings of both your front and rear camera's footage independently if you need to apply the same changes to both camera angles. Fortunately, AVIC has kept the two sets of icons for both the front and rear camera exactly the same, so hopefully that will minimize any confusion. Now let's go over the remaining features. This button will extract images frame by frame from your video, essentially providing you with a set of consecutive still images from the video. This button will save your video file to a specific location of your choosing. This button only saves the specific camera angle that is below the button. Meaning, if you click this icon above your front camera's video frame, only the front camera footage will be saved. You have to then do the same for the rear footage if you want to save that clip as well. This button zooms in and follows your cursor as the focal point of the zoom. This can be helpful if you're trying to identify the best view of a license plate on another vehicle so you can provide that evidence to a police officer or insurance agent. This button changes the alignment of your video by flipping your video horizontally. This button changes the alignments of your video by flipping your video vertically. This button will make your selected camera angle full screen. Press escape to exit full screen video mode. This button switches the front and rear video footage from the larger panel on the left side and the smaller panel on the right hand side. This button brings up a maps display allowing you to gather further information about the vehicle's location at any given time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Email us at support at the dashcamstore.com or give us a call at 1-888-855-5470. And as always, drive safe. Now recording.